Hi everyone, another video and this is I'm gonna show you how to make to alter the pedals to make them jump in between the rows um, of the previous round so I'm gonna start again just pulled it off continue with this image so I want now the pointy edges to come in between here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna want to chain three and I'm gonna count so one two three four I know I had eight stitches so what I'm gonna do is this see what I'm so I'm going in the middle of the petal so there's eight stitches so you count four stitches and in between the stitches you're going up from the back hope it's focusing up from the back gonna do this And we are going to single crochet. Now these do not count as this in stitches. The three, the first three chain spaces, um, chain spaces do not count. It's just to overmount the distance to the half of the pedal. I hope I'm clear enough. So now again, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to count, so it's one, two, three, four. So this is the middle of your pedal. Again, we're coming up with your hook in the back. Through the back. So with your hook up through the back. Push your hook through there. This is what you have. Yarn over. You're actually crocheting around uh, the chain space space of the previous round and there so again one two three four five one two three four so this is your middle you if, if it makes it easier just pull your stitches apart Just making sure that I'm in the middle. I wasn't. I was one off. Again, I'm coming up from the back. I'm picking up chain space from the previous round. Let's see. Coming up from the back. Going around a chain space. And single crochet. So one, two, Three, four, five, and again up from the back, going around, and single crochet one, two, three, four, five. It's not so hard. There, one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four. Pull your stitches apart if it's easier. So back up, up. And I said you're just crocheting actually around this, the chain space of your previous of your one, two, three, fourth round. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, 
There, I'm going to do our last one. One, two, three, four, five. And as I said, ignore your three first chains and you're gonna slip stitch in your first single crochet. There we are. And now we're gonna do the in between. This will create now, as you see, your bows are now in between the, the previous layer. So we're going to do this. So that's single crochet, chain one, one, two, three. I'm going to go over this a little bit more quickly because I did show you in the previous video. Your triple. Chain two, your triple, your three doubles, chain one, and your single crochet, and then the same in the next one. So your single crochet, chain one, your three doubles. Your triple chain two, your triple, your three doubles, your chain one, your single crochet, one more. Single crochet, chain one. You're gonna do your three doubles. Chain, sorry, three, three, your triple or your double treble. Chain two. Your triple or double treble. Your three double crochets your chain one okay just two one more chain one your single crochet your chain one your three double crochets your triple crochet or your double treble chain two is your triple your three doubles chain one and your single crochet now I'm going to show you the result And here you are, as you see, your pointy edges now are in between the layers. Of your previous bows. It's that easy to create in the end your own variations. I'm gonna continue now until the end. So if you wanna stop watching here, that's fine with me. 
even though I would prefer that you watch till the end. You can always fast forward with the cogwheel. But doing this in real time, um, maybe it gives you an idea how much time it takes um, to make one. Of course, the handier you are with crocheting, the faster it will go. So don't get discouraged. Just take your time. If it doesn't go as quick, just do it. Your own speed, just slow down. Do it like this. Once you have the hang of it, you will notice it yourself, how to hold your image and how to hold your thread and your hook and... My mom taught me to crochet when I was five, so... And I used to hate it, really. I preferred knitting. I was actually a very good knitter, but due to my fibro, I can't do that anymore. The pain in my neck and my shoulders are just too much. That's why I picked up crocheting again. And now I really do love it. I just can't imagine why I used to hate it. Maybe because it was so hard for me to learn. Um, because I was the only left-handed in the family. All the rest was right-handed. And it wasn't easy for my mom then to learn me how to crochet. As I crochet, uh, as you can see, as being a lefty, I crochet from left to right. And the right-handed people will crochet from right to left. In the beginning, it was also very, very hard for me to understand the written diagram, uh, the diagrams, so the, the images. Until one day I just made the click and understood how to read them. And then now I do prefer um, diagrams above written instructions. Because a, a, a beautiful diagram really gives you a better overview what to do. And gives you actually a better visual How easy it is to read because a diagram is just repetitive. Okay. One, two, and three. A triple punt alto doppio. I'm sorry. Just realize I was counting in Italian. Sorry. One, two, three, your double, your triple, again, your three doubles. Again, and we are in our last bow now, two, one, two, and three, oops, sorry, nope, not yet, our triple first, our chain twos, our 
triple. Alright, sweet. Levels are chain one. Then our single crochet. And you're going to slip stitch in our beginning single crochet. I'm going to snip off the yarn. I'm going to stop adding layers on this one. And this is how this one looks now. It was it's getting with the layers more and more dimension. So hope this this helps already. I'm just going to tuck in my thread again. Oops, sorry, so I'm going through all these layers here through my layers and I'm really taking plenty along. If you know me, I really like to tuck my threads in very nicely so I'm sure that they won't be come undone. And there we are. Here is in three different tutorials how to create your multi layered flower uh, crochet image. This is one of the smaller ones, so, but you will do the same with it if you have the bigger images. I also have a question if you watched until here. Um, if you want me to do a tutorial on the bow, uh, let me know how I created the bow with these uh, with, the, with these curly cues. It's not my idea. Uh, I think I've got this from an Arabian lady. I'm not sure. I saw it on YouTube, so I, I think it's an Arabian lady, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you want a tutorial on the bow as well, I'm more than gladly to do one in English because um, to my knowing there's no tutorial in English on, on this bow here. So let me think what you think so far of the tutorials. Thank you all again for watching and commenting. I truly appreciate it. Bye.